Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing a video today about how you can earn money from pole dancing. There's loads of different ways. I'm going to say a few, some I have done, some I haven't. But yeah, just to give you an idea of what sort of jobs you could do from pole dancing. I'm just going to list off a few. There are obviously more than what I'm going to say, but I'm just going to give a few that I know of. So, obviously you can become a teacher, an instructor, and with that you can do home instruction, instruction, home, like from home, so you can do Zoom classes, you can create tutorials and sell for like a monthly subscription, you can become an instructor that teaches from their own home if you've got the space, or you go to people that have their own pole, you could go and work in a studio. That's what I want to do. So that's my aim with pole dancing. You can also do performances in like, at like events, you know, special events. I don't think they're, I mean, I haven't really looked into doing any of that yet. Uh, so I don't know how easy it is to get those type of jobs or how available they are. Um, how many different types there are but I know there are um, performance type jobs that you could find and you can do you could actually make money from pole wear like making your own pole wear making your own lingerie customizing heels I've seen a couple of pages doing a couple of companies customizing pleasers heels and they look amazing favorite word I seem to realize from doing these videos you could make money online which is what I do and these are the few things I've done obviously because I pole dance from home and I'm not at teacher level yet so obviously YouTube I'm not making money yet from YouTube but hopefully one day I will make some money from it so you could do live streaming a couple of example places where you could live stream would be here. But I'm not sure how much if you make money from live streaming here. Obviously you can live stream on TikTok if you have enough followers. And you can deal with getting hate and stuff and being trolled. Uh, also there's another couple of live streaming apps that you can make money from. I was on Bego. I was on there for a few months. To be honest, I wouldn't recommend going on there. But... You may have better luck than what I did, but with Bego, I mean, I don't want to go too much into it, but you have to be with an agency, you have to do a certain amount of hours, but you can only do two hours a day. You also have to meet a target of a certain amount of beans before you can cash your money out. And if you don't meet that target, you don't get your beans <laughs> and they don't carry over. So, I don't think they carry over. I'm not sure. No, they don't. I don't think they do carry over. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I only cashed out once and I was on there for about six months. I wasn't 100% consistent with it, so I don't know. I mean, it, it was very difficult for me to do live streaming with my anxiety problems anyway. I found it extremely difficult. But other people could be much more successful with that, so that's a good idea if you're good with that sort of stuff I prefer to just make videos like this is why I love YouTube I prefer to make content and edit it and post it rather than going live another one is Clapper I am on there but I don't I haven't been on there for so long live streaming is just isn't my thing so I haven't really given that a try so but if you're into live streaming you could try Clapper so they're all the sort of like family friendly ways of making money and obviously there is the adult entertainment side of pole dancing that you can make quite a lot of money from just a few examples obviously number one and probably where you'd make the most money would be a strip club i haven't personally ever stepped foot inside a strip club i've never worked in a strip club but i absolutely love the strip club vibe i love the dancing the outfits the lights, I just love, I just love it. But unfortunately, 
it's not suitable for me to go and work in a strip club. I don't really have any that are near me, for one. I've got kids and I can't work a night job. I've done that for 15 years. I, I couldn't go and work a night job. And my health, I don't think I'd be able to do it because of my joint hypermobility syndrome. Yeah, I think I would just struggle a lot with being doing so many long hours and stuff. Obviously, there's the safety issue side of it as well. Risk of things happening. I do have a boyfriend. He wouldn't want me to go and work there, so I wouldn't do that as well out of respect for him. So, yeah, unfortunately, the strip club isn't for me, but if you have, if you're able to go and do it, I would really suggest doing it. <laughs> and then the next thing you can do, you could make an online content platform obviously there are quite a few out there the main one being OnlyFans you can go create an OnlyFans page and open up your own strip club basically there are many many more places not just OnlyFans is for example there is one called Admire Me, Fansly, Adult Work, Pocket Stars there's loads so if you're into that you could fully go and look into opening up one of those I will say though it's a full time job in itself just running one of those pages on top of everything else that you want to do another good option which you could make some serious money from is cam work you could dance live while you're on cam and with cam work you don't have to even show any anything if you don't want to. It's just more building up like a relationship with the person that is spending money on you, I guess. But that is a good option and that is a very good potential for earning some money. I mean, all the adult entertainment um, avenues have a very good earning potential. But it's, yeah, it is obviously adult entertainment work. It's a lot of issues and stigmas and things that come along with doing that and going into that side of stuff. So if you're not in that industry already, I wouldn't just jump into it. Really take your time, do a lot of research and make up your own mind if you want to do it. But yeah, anyway, that's one. <laughs> That's another another way another one I thought of was you could which is like the most mildest form of the adult entertainment industry I would say and maybe good for a beginner if you want to go into that realm is doing heels and feet content with your pleasers which I have done um, it's really fun there are many many different websites that you can promote for your heels and feet um, and you can earn money from one I think the most well I'm not sure if it's the most popular but one's Feet Finder but you can also open up a, like an OnlyFans page just for your feet and your heels um, you know stripper heels and stripper feet and any of the online platforms you can do that with oh, I've got to say with the cam work a few examples where you could find that would be a website called Adult Work Another one is called sex.com and uh, another one is called chatterbait. There are many more, so you just need to do a little bit of research online. Obviously, if you want to go down that road. As I've said in a previous video, I did manage to leave my night job of 15 years in the most mind-numbing job of retail. And I worked really, really hard for years trying to build up businesses and they failed and it was because I wasn't really passionate about what I was doing. But with pole dancing, I think I've really found like my calling, so to speak. And I have worked really hard and I've managed to leave that job last year. And I am now earning money from my dancing. I sort of started earning money from it straight away, which was great. So I was learning while I was earning. <laughs> Even though it's been a roller coaster, the most stressful time of my life, but the most fun time of my life as well. What's made me money from pole dancing is a little bit of live streaming, but 
I feel like I failed at that because I just didn't enjoy the live aspect of it and how trolly people can be. <laughs> and even though, you know, it doesn't matter what other people say, it's really hard to deal with and I suffer with like social anxiety anyway, so I find it difficult to deal with confrontation. But the main way that I have made my money is through online content, selling custom content, exotic pole customs, feet customs of my heels and stuff like that. And yeah, strip club related custom content. And strip club related content that I've created myself that people subscribe to. And it isn't as easy as what people make it out to be, I'll just tell you that right now. <laughs> if anybody does want me to do a more in-depth video about that, then let me know. But I didn't really want to make this channel about that. I want to focus on my pole dancing and my progression into becoming an instructor. As I said before, I'm not, <clears throat> not rich by any means. My bills are paid and I have a little bit of extra money left over. But I'm in a tiny little place, like, I don't have space, I'd love to be able to buy a house. So it's basically managed to replace my night job. So I'm now at home, working from home, not stressed because I've got no sleep, because I've got a night job and then kids to take to school in the morning and then pick up. So I literally had no sleep for about 15 years massively contributed to my depression and anxiety that I had and was making my joint hypermobility syndrome a lot worse because I had no rest and I was on my feet f like all day and all night. It has just been the best thing that's happened. Even though I'm massively enjoying what I'm doing at the moment and my life has changed in so many ways, I'm now like working towards the instructor side of stuff making that my main income to be honest and continuing with here and yeah just continuing the pole dancing dream and hopefully step away from the content side of stuff the like the adult content side of stuff and go more into the instructor and fitness coach side of things if the adult entertainment industry is where you want to take your pole dancing but you felt the same as me and you're unable to go and dance at a club then opening up like an OnlyFans page is an amazing alternative because you don't have to travel into work, you don't have the issue of actually dancing in front of people, do it all in your own time, you know, there's less chance of anything bad happening to you I know that doesn't always happen to you in a club but there is obviously a higher chance than if you're not going to one but yeah it's just a really good alternative if the strip club isn't for you but anyway I'm gonna go now I hope that has answered some of your questions and I hope I've given you some ideas if you were looking for some places that you'd like to maybe take your pole dancing to earn yourself some money um, obviously these are all my own opinions um, other people may have some different opinions to what I have, but yeah, that's just my opinion and how I feel about what I've been chatting about. But yeah, anyway, hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video.